Oh, don't forget to unmute. All right. Now, not only do I have fresh water, I was able to get a couple bites of uh, delicious ice cream. Give me that ice cream. I want to throw this over there. I can't see it working like that. Because I know it will kill me if I. I think if I get in rain. Good old Juca Cola. Banned in several colonies, Juca Cola is a highly addictive, absurdly potent blast of sugar and stimulants. Uh, hmm. Love you some ice cream. Yeah, it's. Uh, I've been working on two. I usually just take like a couple bites and put it back in the freezer because I'm a I'm a snacker. It takes me a long time usually to eat or drink things, and ice cream will melt before I uh, get all the way through it. So I'm working on a, a mint chalky chip and a cookie dough one, kind of alternating. Alright, I can go down this exposed duct, but... Wait, no! Yeah, alright. We gotta go through the glass door. I wanna check the glass door first. Oh, it's the same you want with ice cream soup. More often. Yeah! I thought I was out of ammunition. I guess I just come over here and manually disable it. <laughs> Nothing like the good old crawling through the duct scene. No slash low ammunition. Um... Can I use a Juca Cola on it? Damn. Steven Dryson. Oh, power outages today. Damn it, I thought they had a lid on that. People have been way crankier than usual. One of my boys just broke down today, shaking and scratching like he was suffering from withdrawal or something. Checked with the nurses who examined him, and it seems like there was some sort of drug in his system. He swore blind he wasn't dirty, and he hadn't been taking anything. But they're already preparing a tribunal for the poor guy. Thing is, I believe him. Everybody's been acting a bit peculiar today. What's happening to my beautiful ship? That crap is growing up in the spine of this baby like a cancer. I keep mailing Dr. Milan about this, but he hasn't responded to any of my messages. I know he's reading them. It's to get more of those stooges from hydroponics down to collect samples whenever I send more than a few words his way. I managed to corner his assistant the other day and demanded to know when we'd be getting our share of the rations. She looked at me like she hadn't slept in a week and said, Soon. None of us are sleeping properly. 
Try to greet each day with a smile, but the wrenches are getting panicky. If not mutinous. I spend my time breaking up fights instead of maintaining the engines. I was thinking of taking a group down to the engine ports and torching the shit out of the hole, but I'm worried it's too late for that now. No more engineers, no more hope. When you take those things away, you've got nothing left. I'm dictating this wedged under the main security terminal. I don't think any of those things will f hear me. The rest of the survivors are holed up in the bulkheads, but nobody was willing to risk leaving until we had some sort of protection. I pointed out that we'd either starve or die anyway, so they voted overwhelmingly for me to try and get help. But I came down here through one of the maintenance access tunnels and programmed the security terminal to make mark any targets with their PDTs still implanted as hostiles. That should at least get the turrets on our side. Not sure it'll work, but it's all I could do. I'm alone now. Well, I'm used to it. Never met the right girl and all that. Pretty sure I heard Lotus screaming, you know. Probably all dead now, but I can't know for sure. I could hear those things peeling panels off the floor and walls like they were paper. And I'll be damned if they find me cow cowering under the floor like that. Guy Fox jumped with the noose around his neck when he was about to be executed. Did you know that? They were going to half-strangle him and then rip him to pieces. But he cheated the executioners, breaking his own neck before they could carry on torturing him. I'm gonna do likewise. Got a gun for my protection, see? Only one bullet left, but no matter. I'll only need one. Oh! It also sounds like if they were sending hydroponics down to get samples of the fungus... Our little person should definitely be more than passingly acquainted with Dr. Halen. Hmm. More and more suspicious. Let's see. For all those who are still able to receive these messages on the intranet, you'll know by now the creatures are using our PDTs to proceed past security checkpoints. To prevent this, I've decided that, each in turn, You'll proceed under armed guard to the primary surgery pod, where your PDTs will be removed. Once this is done, we will reprogram the security protocols, so they will target all creatures that still possess these tags. Do not answer the doors until your quarters, unless confirmed by the designated pa password. Today that word is Aegis. Um, okay, so they're killing all of the reanimated people, but what about any new people? who don't have PTTs because they're clones. This is how it is. The unidentified substance is still spreading. It's fouled up engine ports D through G, and after a brief confab with the drive engineers, I can tell you that it's having a detrimental effect on the efficiency and speed of the engines. The long and short of it is that the ship is seriously slowing down. The only thing accelerating is the speed of the fungal growth. Origin is unknown, although we're narrowing it down. This is a crisis situation. Use the hardest stuff you can find to remove it from fixtures and drive plates without actually endangering the protective casing of the drive cores. Good luck, guys. I wonder if the fungus overtakes the entire ship, if it would be considered a colony ship. <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm both booing and applauding that one. <laughs> Alright, this is slow going. Oh, is that a... Oh, is there actually nothing over here? There is nothing over here. All right. So I think we just need to trigger the gun once more and we will have 
depleted its ammunition. We have a Juca Cola can. We have a rope, and we have a, an empty gun. Some reason we can't just disable it from down here. That would have been too easy, I guess. How do I? Where was the? Get out! How do I get out of the vent? John, I did it before. Am I crazy? There we go. All right, let's try combining items. It doesn't work like that. All right. So if we move down, we're going to get blasted. No, crazy. I feel like I should be able to throw the Juca Cola can. I can't see it working like that. I can't hide behind that um, board. Um, these don't go well together. Like, it's a can of cola. There's not a lot of uses for it. Hmm. Probably not a good idea. What if... Hold on, let me... I had an idea. What if we use the cola on the computer? Maybe it will be too sticky and short circuit. Hey! Finally, the soda's useful. All right, we can continue making progress. What do we have? We have pistol and loose cables. I feel like those loose cables are gonna be a. I hate doors. One override coming up. The glass door, just break it. Shit, John. The security systems in medical are inaccessible. It's like they've been locally reset. I can't access anything. I'll think of something. Can I use the pistol and just like smash it? Hmm. Maybe. No. No, that won't work. Hmm. Can I get bullets for the gun? Oh, oh, hell yeah! Apparently, uh, John may have been a school teacher, but he's got some heavy weapons training. Wow. He just fucking no sold it. Casually just picking up a machine gun. Warning. This area is off limits to all active PDT users. Please see your supervisor for further instructions. I wonder if we're gonna have our PDT removed. That makes no sense. All PDTs. That's everyone. They must have changed 
security settings. Stop anyone from heading down below. More coming up. Because if we remove our PDT, then she can't track us anymore. Hmm. Oh, the violins. Oh, that's some... See, Erica Boxer. That other check. I can't believe that asshole. Look at a man dumps a girl on their anniversary. Poor Denisha's in hysterics. I just swapped my shifts on account of that prick. Sadie made that easy enough. She's such a good friend to me. We were inseparable at nursing school until she decided to branch out into botany. Seems she's suited more to general medical research than patient care. That's fine, I don't mind. I prefer working with people to plants anyway. New walkway and hydroponics is a bonus too. Some of our boys like to stretch their new limbs along the greenery. Who said that the new departments were of no use? This is selfish, I know, but damn it! I've had so much on my plate, I'm having to do serious overtime. And then the ungrateful turds like Eric mean I've got even more to deal with. My poor baby sister. Body of a 13-year-old woman, mind of a 16-year-old girl. Apparently, he says being the pilot of a of the Osmond Dias is just too much pressure on a relationship. As is that sweet little co-pilot he recently acquired. I've had it up to here with pilots. Are they ever not chasing tail? Well, tonight should be okay, as I've got Denisha coming around with some of the girls. And we got a shipment of Martian champagne. Oh, the violin's gone. Sag. Back to just spooky ambiance, frowny face. The budget increase is proving to be a blessing and a curse. We've got more equipment for sure, but nowhere near enough space for it. If only the Groom Lake was one of those modular types. We might be able to get some extra room. Sadie and I are working our butts off around here. God bless Sadie. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be an alcoholic by now. Denisha is still not over her douchebag ex and calls me up crying most nights just to talk about how she misses him. Next time I see him, I'm going to punch his lights out. Don't worry about Denisha. She's depressed, not eating, not sleeping. I might ask en Engracia to book her for an appointment. She needs a shrink. Oh, so there is a shipboard uh, therapist. Work-wise, the regeneration tanks are working beautifully, but the increased demand for them means we're running short of chemical dissociation regions, and the cell growth regeneration fluid is pretty much spent. Speaking of the fluid, it's this new stuff Dr. Milan's unit had us using. It's technically the same as the last stuff, but I'm sure the molecular composition is different. Apparently it's four times as effective. Seems kind of unpredictable, actually. I've already asked Dr. Harvey to request that we switch back to the old one, which he has done twice. Why are they ignoring us? Oh, great. So now we have the experimental fluids being used on organs put into people. Full stop. Cool, 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 cool. Crazy huge brawl in the meth hall today. All the guys was sweating and looking like they OD'd or something. Something. Excuse me. There's been a spike in violent assaults. I swear it has something to do with the new supplies that came in. Ever since that new regen fluid, it seems like everything else is slightly off too. I'm sure of it. Diet, medicines, genetic samples. You name it. I spoke to Sadie, but she also swears there's been tampering. The idea we've been ingesting bad food for months scares the shit out of me. I'm going to get a friend of mine to analyze some samples. Until then, I'm locking my door at night. I'm not sure who I can trust. Sadie's been giving me strange looks too. I might actually change the lock. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I have to see Denisha. I have to. She's with two others near the hangars, and I'm stuck here in medical. Two rifles taken from Malone and Bird, and a laser scalpel. That's all we have to get there. Sadie keeps fighting me on this and making excuses. She's starting to piss me off. Has that idiot forgotten where we are? That, gr that the Groom Lake is now a freaking hunting ground, and my sister is in the middle of it? I don't fucking care if they, come, if they don't come with me. I have to see my sister. I have to know about Denisha. I heard her on the radio a day or so ago, so I know she's still alive. She has to be hiding. Denisha was always better than me at hide-and-seek back home. It took hours to find her. 
Once, Mom sent a search party for her, and she'd been hiding at the bottom of the garden, tucked inside a dirt hole where Dad was planting beets. She was hiding. She has to be. Sadie is causing me problems. She won't come with me. I guess I'll have to make her come along, whether she wants to or not. Um, why are you forcing Sadie to go with you? Wait, no, there was other buttons. Dear Erica, I was under the misapprehension that your request was perhaps just paranoia, but given the tests I performed on these provided samples, I'll we'll have to be honest, the implications are frightening. I will generally concur with your initial theory that some batches went just bad, but there is clearly much more than spoilage at work. You have to understand that when batches like this are spoiled, they are all spoiled, not just a few. A fungus, for instance, will spread through samples, but there is an astonishing difference between the samples you sent me. Some seem to have been cultivated for cultivated quite for the qualities they demonstrate. Did you know this Brassica sample has been enhanced with a genetically enhanced form of PCP? I know this because I tested the sample in one of my rats. Poor little thing is lashed out violently, suffered a seizure, and then died. Precise name is DV8-5, a drug that was popular for enhancing the abilities of so-called remote viewers during the eugenics wars. Oh. Oh, the eugenics wars. I see. Um... Laboratory created stuff. All designer, all professional. The most alarming part is that, owing to the different genetic strains I've seen in the five samples you sent for analysis, I get the impression that these contaminants were deliberately distributed in both the staff and patients. I'm not sure what lunatic would do such a thing, least of all on a long haul lab ship, but I've already sent a request to my superiors at the ministry to examine this matter further. On an informal note, please look after yourself, Erica. You're always my best pupil, and I'm pleased you chose to confide in me. I do apologize that it's taken so long to get back to you. Be careful. With fondest affection, Professor Luke. I see. So... Yeah, the guy had drugs, because they grew all the drugs in the, uh... That they sent their food. Now, the question is... Did they intentionally do that so it's like, oh, this person's on drugs, time to punish them to get more human experiments? Or were they doing something else? Um... Uh, I... I think I found the crew. Are they also bloodied up, like the guy on the floor? You could say that. I'm... I'm not sure how many people I'm looking at. It's like... Trench. All oh, right. Try to push through, John. A few decks mm. below. One step at a time. Oh, this is a good stretch. Oh, man. Uh, someone... Someone's uh, entrails were used to make an uh, aesthetically pleasing mural. Um... Not pleasing to my aesthetics, though. It just kind of looks like a bunch of red smears. Nope, oh, this is Sadie's. Exploiting people with the, with the problems humanity is created. Yeah, is, isn't it just... It certainly seems like this uh, experiment ship... I don't know if they like made a breakthrough or trying to burn through things because we've gone from all right we've got these normal cloning vats and then we're experimenting on them to all right we're using live experiments that we've gotten from all these places we've mugged to hey we're taking volunteers and uh, 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 experimenting on what we give our our people on the ship. Uh, so this is a very rapid downward spiral. I don't know if maybe Dr. Milan has gone insane and we've got a dead space situation and he's like going crazy because of because of the pillar. Um, Sadie's... Hold on. Alright, never mind. It's gonna be different. Erica's lost her damn mind. I'm dragging out of my mind right now. She's dragged us on a fool's errand across the ship to look for Denisha. I tried to tell her how I saw one of those things wearing Denisha's face the other morning. Oh god, 
Makes me want to puke just thinking about it. It looked like a deflated balloon as it scuttled up the walls. I swear Ingratia fried it with a bolt. We can't be sure. He's a psychiatrist, not a soldier. Then again, are any of us soldiers? Erica seems to think we're in the Marine Corps, waving around the rifle with a crazy look in her eyes, threatening to kill anyone who disagrees with her. Erica, I told her, you're a nurse. God, I barely recognize her anymore. What happened to my best friend? What happened to that girl from Stokely, Mississippi? I don't know who Erica Boxer is anymore. Erica died this morning. My friend is gone. One of those horrific things tore her spine out of her body right in front of my eyes. I must be one of the last ones alive. Not that I've got long. I'm infected with something. I can feel it. I checked out a hydroponics lab this morning. It's a wreck. I could have told them, anyone could have told them, that trying to breed a new fungus to kill the old one would be disastrous. The rest of it won't budge. I've tried tearing it away with the laser scalpel Erica gave me, but it did nothing. Zip. Silch. Nada. What doesn't kill it really does make it stronger. Going back to retrieve Erica's remains later. I know she died a crazy woman, but she was my friend. I still love her. Uh, this is the personal data tag. Inventory anomalies to Dr. Milan. First, Dr. Milan, first, allow me to apologize for mailing you directly, but this is classified red emergency. I've undertaken further inspections beyond samples 99 Delta, Echo, and F, and I found that the majority of our inventory has been compromised by tampering. There are signs that the tampering has began some time ago. Some of the materials are merely spoilage, but a large quantity appears to have been illegally modified, and I'm not sure who new suppliers are. But the inventory may have provide the inventory they have provided does not match the chemical manifest included. I'm aware this is a shipping concern rather than a hydroponics one, but Project Seed is based around our successful cultivation of hypernutritious plants in unusual conditions. With the current stock we possess, there is no limit to the number of illegal or mutated nutrients going into our plant growth. I'd advise that shipping and medical begin more, th begin more thorough inspections of received cargo. I suspect the problems would go back for months, although I have no evidence to prove this. Please recommend immediate termination of supply runs and decontamination of irrigation pipes until this is resolved. Hold on. Project Seed... Successful cultivation of hypernutritious plants in unusual conditions. To volunteer for Project Seed, you need to have had delivered a pregnancy. Hmm. So this is this is a huge leap in logic and also may not make sense unless you're pretty familiar with Dune. Um, but in the greater Dune, like, beyond the first book, like, you can read the first book, it's good, it's amazing on its own, but then the rest of the series, um, you learn more about the other factions. And one of them, the Talaxu, are very much in gene sequencing, modification, growing, things like this. And they use humans to do it to to uh, uh, manufacture in a biological sense um, their materials so I wonder if that might be what's going on here let's see what's that classified encrypted email from box oh oh this is from Erica Sadie, I love you very much, sweetie, but have you lost your damn mind? The samples are restricted. What if Dr. Milan finds out you've brought samples from out of storage bays? It's not only your job you'll be losing. I'll do- Ah, I'm spinning! Wait, flash cloning organs may be a thing in five years? Maybe? So, like, we're at the point where we can sort of construct protein strains. And, like, we've made, like, some biological computer-ish kind of things. But, like, complete organs, um, not only you have to get, you'd have to find a way to grow it either from a sample of the person 
or you would need to fashion the organ and have it avoid rejection because that's the that's the biggest problem with organ transplants is dealing with the uh rejection um and even you know even our best things like there's a reason you know that it's still very hard on the body and um you may need a new transplant um some years down the line because you know things eventually may give out um it's definitely hopefully we get more progress because it would be nice to have that. I also kind of wish things were more like, like uh, I, there's a lot of, I want to say, I don't know if it's all the European countries, but I'm thinking of one specifically where like organ donation is an opt out program. Like you are implicitly allowing, uh, 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 you know, that for you but like in america you have to like specifically request it and get it like stamped on your driver's license oh hydrate can do um i don't know about piss factory uh there's certainly some sort of biological factories going on in here um because we are playing stasis is uh point and click sci-fi horror game and it's uh, certainly been horrifying, uh, both existentially and the jump scares. Don't super like that it's automatic, but it's cool with giving so many more. Yeah, like it's certainly, it is one of those weird, weird area things where it's like, I don't, I don't know. Like I'm already dead, so it's fucking use them, I guess, I don't know. Bodily autonomy is hard enough for living people. It's still uh, difficult for the dead. Which is your organs. <laughs> also, this game is scary. Yes, it is. Uh, I don't want to go in the elevator. Yep, we got more um, Jackson Pollock uh, blood paintings. Serotonergic receptors are present in your principal vascular system. Sero. Force field. Charged plasma molecules dart across the surface of an invisible electrical field. No! 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 I'm being scared! No! Don't do it! I couldn't get to... I couldn't get to my live 2D fast enough. Damn it. Aw, thank you for the head pats. The scan also got the snail. Maybe. You win no, because it's a snail. They don't really move very fast. <laughs> It's not rocket powered, although I have ideas. Can we touch the force field? Uh, we can look into the other room. We need more snail scans. <laughs> well, if you want a snail, um, I did not save. that correctly um there they are doing uh they're they do take they're doing they're still taking commissions for the snails you can join the snamly Average trans bedroom? Jeez, that's a that's a lot of murder. The snamelies. No dollar dues. Ain't ain't capitalism like that sometimes. Most of the time. But hey, at least you're not on this uh, sci-fi ship. With uh. Oh. Oh no. They must have manually removed the PDTs. That's why the security systems were reset and medical. Oh, the bodies. The body 
bodies in the crew quarters. They were skinned. The creatures were using the PDTs to move through secure areas. I must have realized what was going on. So for me to get to the lower decks. You have to remove your tag. Remove? Perhaps electric shock. No, that would Oh. Work. John? This is the only surefire way. What are you saying? The surgery pod should already be programmed to remove it. It didn't work out so well for this poor woman. Nah. Oh way. boy. Space jump between decks. This is surgery. John, prep the pod. I'm a school teacher, damn it! Okay, how do we prep the pod? Magical PDA. All right, I I will not be able to pronounce that last name. So we got Asaya. New year for the chief surgeon, and a new year for the staff of the medical deck. I have to think that. I have to think it that way, or it gets rather confusing. The staff of the medical deck now consists of three extra sections. Cybernetics, tissue regeneration, and for some reason, medicinal hydroponics. Yes, it may be medicinal, but as I told Dr. Milan, they are still plants. I wish to seem ungrateful it is Kane Corporation who opened so many doorways for me, and who redefined the frontiers of medicine for us all. Probably gonna slip off just when I say hi. No problem, Misfit. I hope you have a fantastic eep and a great weekend. I was pretty sure... It's always nice when people stop on by, even if they are lurking, or it's just a hi on by. I certainly do the same things elsewhere, you know. Ugh, there's uh, so many, so many cool people, so it's always nice uh, when y'all decide to choose me to vibe with. <laughs> As a man who served his apprenticeship on the battlefields, elbow deep in the blood of innocence, to see those deserts and war-torn villages reborn as images of Nirvana is a privilege. It all thanks to the sciences of Cain. And yet, it's hard to understand why, on the Groom Lake, so many departments are being forced to share resources like this. I hear our budget will be up for review soon, and the chances of us getting an increase are slim. So try to remain positive. They say that high buyers. Aww. I bet you, I bet you say that to all the worms. <laughs> My goodness, a 300% budget increase. I have not yet been able to imagine how helpful this financial windfall will be. Dr. Milan assured me that a sizable portion of this budget will be applied to Project Seed. It makes our work so much more essential. We'll order new equipment and new samples. Although, I don't totally agree with the ethics of Dr. Milan's acquisition of volunteers for surgery and testing. The leaps and bounds we've made in our research more make up, our research more make up for the rest of it. Is it wrong that we must test the limits of morality for the greater good? Yes. Yes, it is. Actually, very much. Uh, we've established this. <laughs> this gets you put in the Hague. Your affection with worms has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I'm a surgeon who has seen many awful things in the blood-soaked abattoirs of the Pangea Wars. So perhaps this should be second nature to me, but I don't recall agreeing to the use of children for testing. Went to expect the stasis tubes at the request of my chief nurse, I found that there were several children, some as young as nine years old, awaiting processing. Children? I was shocked and appalled and demanded an explanation from Dr. Milan. Edward Jenner had to test vaccines on children to see if they'd work, he said. I knew the story. What medical does not? Jenner injected infected purulent exudates into a child's arm, which must have seemed callous disregard for the child's life. Yet it saved the boy. And that's how he convinced me. We are the frontier of the sciences. Chances must be taken. Do not always feel comfortable with his ethical choices, but his logic is sound. Research is too valuable for us to let a few moral qualms get in our way. Um, let me make sure I'm remembering the right scientist. Edward Jenner. Was that the fur smallpox, right? So, key big difference with this guy versus these guys. This logic has a handful of holes in it, if you ask me. Exactly. So, um, back then, you know, smallpox, which uh, if you never had the smallpox vaccination, even the smallpox vaccination today fucking sucks. Uh, there, there's a reason why it's very much voluntary. 
Um, and only usually if you're going to certain areas, you'll you'll need to get it. But uh, smallpox uh, is not good. Uh, and it was killing a lot of people. And uh, vaccine theory really wasn't broad sped there. It wasn't really well understood. And he didn't inject just his son. If I remember correctly, he also injected himself um, to prove the effectiveness of the vaccines. And to further stab another hole, this isn't like, hey, you know, we're all dying to this super deadly plague. We really have to be like, it's going to be risky and we're going to lose people, but like we have to find a cure or we're going extinct. These people are like genetically engineering mega corn. Like, we don't need to be... The moral needle is not moved for anything like this. We don't need corn. We don't need better corn. <laughs> Monsanto has gone too far. I fear my decision to become a surgeon with Kane Corporation is not quite as simple as I thought. The first casualties of the infection spreading across the ship came to my lab. We had set up our quarantined operating room. I had to get hands-on with the patient for the first time in years. The flow of blood, the cutting of infected tissue using my specialized tools. God forgive me, but I enjoyed it. It's impossible to explain the adrenaline rush, adrenaline rush from playing God in such a way. Of having the lives of so many on the verge of death in your hands. I felt it on the battlefield, and I feel it now. It is not the beauty of birth that moves me, it seems, but the pungent stench of death. I thought I'd join Kane Corporation to save my soul. Instead, it is a slick the thirst of the beast in me, whose jaws slaver at the scent of blood. I am ashamed. How could I have not seen it? Those awful life forms are discus disguising themselves as us, inside us. They wear our skins and our PDTs, which explains how the security system cannot detect them. If I didn't already know where those creatures came from, this would perhaps be less frightening. But they've learned the vile abominations. Abomination? What a word that is. It appears to summarize what I, we, have created in our hubris. We have created evil. God help us all. Um. Dr. Milan has recalibrated his guidelines for subjects in Project Seed, and specifically the requirement for any female subjects who have previously been pregnant. Female subjects should ideally have been screened, but their precise source is not important. Since the project has a 99.89 chance of non-fatal reaction in subjects, members of staff will be eligible for this test. Ideal subject is as follows. O negative, free of any genetic defects, 18 to 40, recently, ideally within the last year. Regards, C. Backman. We dis disagreed often, but never so more than now. I'm aware that Miss Callister doesn't work in surgery, and that Chief Nurse Boxer has seniority in terms of rank. However, Callister has one of the most extraordinary organized organizational minds I've ever worked with. Product storage areas are clean and well indexed. Therefore, I have to challenge your demand that I remove her from her position because of these false reports she has been sending to you about anomalies in the supplies. I have no doubt that your claims of her illicitly taking some samples is also only an accusation. She is a fine worker and reports only what she feels is right. I'll be taking no action against her. You are in charge of the project, but you must allow me to choose my staff at my own discretion. Regards, Asaya. Who is that to? To Milan. Milan. Yep, he's the one responsible for the samples because he is ignoring it. All right. All right, stasis fluid. Um. Oh man, are we gonna have to do this without anesthesia? Mm -hmm. I don't like this at all. I don't like this.
All right, so we have empty stasis fluid container. So we need more stasis fluid. Where can we get stasis fluid? Blood-stained environmental suits. Let's see. So I wonder, like, if the PD... I thought the PDT is, like, implanted. Like, below... Like, I thought it was, like... If they skin them, and that gets the PDT... Like, I thought it was just um, the people turning into monsters. But it's talking about skinning them and using the PDT. So it has to be, like, a dermal implant. That is still also very terrifying. Alright, so this is reception. We have... Okay. No, never again. That's uh concerning. Yeah, those are mm, sounds. Personal dag John Marichek. Medical bay. Personal data tag has no security clearance. System is locked. Ah! Do we need to get a security clearance? So wait, hold on. That one has... Can we go through that other force field? Because it doesn't have a little, like, locked door symbol on it. Maybe we can just walk on through. I just didn't try. No, we can't just walk through. Um... Hmm... There's lights, so we have to get in there eventually. How do we disable this force field, though? This isn't gonna work. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna. I need the stasis fluid from that other pod over there. All right. So let's see if the elevator is functional. You'd be happy to never see another tubular conveyance in your life. Yeah. Doesn't look like the elevator does anything. Hmm. Yay, we got body part. Um, can we use body parts over here? Organic receptacle. Okay, the organic matter receptacle requires refined biological tissue. Refined biological tissue. Um. Okay. Don't like that. Hmm. 
Can I use any of like the suits? Wait, oh, I see a glowing light. There's something I can get. Oxygen. Ooh. Profanity, derogatory comments, or other intimidating actions directed at gang security employees in I don't think this will fit. Fucking dropped our oxygen tank. Hmm. 